The Capetian dynasty, or House of Capet, was a royal family that governed France steadily from 987 until 1328, and indirectly until the end of the 18th century. Its name comes from Hugh Capet, elected King of the Franks in 987, who founded the dynasty. The Carolinian Empire, which ruled vast areas of Western Europe, began to decline in the 9th century. The central power weakened and the Frankish kingdom faced a string of invasions from foreign peoples, such as the Vikings, Magyars, and Saracens. The local nobles, especially the dukes and counts, acquired considerable power and autonomy in their regions. After the death of the last Carolinian monarch, Louis V of France, in 987, the French nobles elected Hugh Capet as the new king of the Franks. He was a nobleman from the Ile de France region, and his ascension to the throne heralded the beginning of the Capetian dynasty. Hugh Capet's election was a crucial moment in French history, since it represented a significant change in the political system. Rather than choosing a new monarch based on the Carolinian lineage, the nobles decided to elect a leader who would be able to strengthen royal power and address the internal and external challenges facing the kingdom. Hugh Capet was a noble descendant with family ties to the Carolinians. He was crowned king in Riem and started to establish his authority over the kingdom. One of his first moves was to centralize royal power around Paris, a strategy that proved crucial in strengthening the monarchy and controlling rebellious nobles. The Capetian kings frequently battled feudal nobles who challenged royal authority. These conflicts were stoked by the contest for territorial control and local autonomy. For example, the 1108 revolt led by Philip I against his own father, Henry I, and subsequent uprisings by nobles against the Capetian kings are examples of these. The Capetian dynasty experienced several conflicts with England over the centuries, including the Hundred Years' War, lasting from 1337 to 1453. This war was motivated by territorial disputes and control of the French throne. Iconic battles, such as the Battle of Crecy in 1346 and the Battle of Poitiers in 1356 and the Battle of Agincourt in 1415 took place during this era, shaping European military history. France and the Holy Roman Empire, led by the Germanic emperors, frequently clashed over territorial disputes and political entanglements. These conflicts usually took place in the region of Lorraine and Burgundy, where both sides sought to expand their influence. Both France and the Holy Roman Empire had vested interests in Italy, and conflicts often arose over who would control northern Italy and the Italian city-states. This led to direct confrontations between the two powers, with battles waged on Italian soil. Several times, Capetian kings and Germanic emperors sided with rival claimants to each other's thrones. For instance, during the reign of Charles IV of France, Holy Roman Emperor Louis IV supported Edward III of England through the Hundred Years' War, thus challenging French control. Religious issues would often feature prominently in conflicts between France and the Holy Roman Empire. The dispute between the popes and the Germanic emperors for control over the church in Germany and Italy often led to proxy disputes with France, which backed the papacy on many of these issues. Dynastic and secession conflicts shaped the history of France during the Capetian era. These disputes often arose from quarrels over the secession to the throne, rivalries between different royal family branches, and power struggles between rival claimants. Succession to the throne was a matter that always led to conflicts between the heirs, particularly when there was no clear inheritor. The children of the deceased monarch, along with other close relatives, often fought for the throne. These disputes could lead to civil wars and political instability. Intrigues and conspiracies to overthrow or discredit other members of the royal family were widespread. This could involve alliances with rebellious noblemen, manipulation of information, or even assassinations. The royal court was a fraught political environment rife with rivalries. Some Capetian kings were weak or inept over the centuries, unable to maintain control over the kingdom or deal with the political and military challenges they faced. This led to instability and a gradual weakening of royal authority. The Capetian dynasty ended in 1328, with Charles IV's death and the demise of the Capetian male line, the crown then passing to the House of Valio through a genealogical connection. This transition to a new dynasty weakened the position of the Capetians even further, and brought an end to the Capetian dynasty as France's dominant royal house. 
Although the Capetian dynasty ended with the rise of the House of Valois, its legacy endured in French history. Many subsequent French kings, including those of the House of Valois and the House of Bourbon, asserted a connection with the Capetians and upheld many of the traditions and institutions established by them. The Capetian dynasty's legacy in developing the French nation-state and in the blossoming of French culture is widely recognized and continues to be studied and celebrated to this day.